Lab. Hey there, Hallie here. Today, I want to show you some different ways that thermal energy moves. There's a worksheet in the link in the description below. You may want to download it and complete it as you watch this video. All matter is made up of tiny particles, whether it's in solid form, liquid form, or gas form. These particles are always in motion. How much these particles move is called thermal energy. Thermal energy can move between and within objects. This movement of thermal energy is called heat and heat can move in three main ways. Let me show them to you. Here I've got a metal pot with a plastic handle a beaker filled with water and an electric hot plate. First, I'm going to pour some water into the metal pot. Notice that the base of the metal pot is in contact with the surface of the electric hot plate. As I turn on the hot plate, thermal energy from the electric hot plate moves into the metal pot. This type of heat is called conduction. Conduction is how heat moves when two objects are in contact and is also how heat moves within an object. When I touch the pot's plastic handle, I can feel it's also getting warmer. That's conduction too. Obviously, the plastic handle is not as hot as the metal pot. This is because the heat conductivity of the two different materials is quite different. Metals are good conductors of heat. This means that they allow thermal energy to pass through them easily. Materials like rubber, wood and plastic are bad conductors of heat. This means that it's quite hard for thermal energy to pass through them. Inside the pot, the water touching the heating component is heated via conduction. The water becomes warm and starts to rise. As it does, the cooler water sinks and a current is created within the water. The current causes the thermal energy to spread throughout the water. This movement of thermal energy is called convection. Convection occurs within liquids and gases. The heating of the air inside a hot air balloon is an example of convection. If I carefully move this pot above the electric hot plate, the two surfaces are no longer in contact, but thermal energy still moves between the two objects. This type of heat transfer is called radiation. Radiation is the transfer of energy through electromagnetic waves. The sun warming the earth is another example of radiation. Thanks for learning, and I'll see you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab. Bye for now.